Hello everyone and welcome to Battlefight Week 12. You can see the chat on the left if you're watching on YouTube and you want to be part of the chat, make sure to go to twitch.tv so stay siege. But in the meantime, I have myself with me, the one, the only, Hide New, aka Garcilla, who's going to be helping me out today. His Twitch is twitch.tv slash H-E-I-D-N-U if you want to watch it. And he's just going to be squeaking away in his chair as we can hear the entire thing. Thanks a lot, buddy. As now you're on camera and you can sit there and just be like you're waving goodness. Garzilla, everyone. Hi, first time casting today, uh, so forgive me if I uh, make some mistakes. There's no mistakes, you're a caster. You're perfect and flawless, despite what the team says. The team is wrong. Thank okay? you. The teams Thank are wrong. You. You're always right. I'm perfect. Yeah, buddy. So we're going in right now. We have our, we have a surprise for those of you in the VODs. Those of you watching live already know what's coming. But in the meantime, let's take a look. We are looking at a Savage Kraken going up against an Emmett. Which is what you saw on the left-hand side. There was an Emmett, Sunny, Wasteland, Maggie, and Markov. Going to be going in on Fusion Plant. Seeing what happened. It's currently 2-1 in favor of Pink Fluffy Unicorns Dancing on Rainbows. In case you don't know what it is, just Google it. Or YouTube it. <laughs> or you can listen to the person in the background, which I don't know if you heard. She just said, no, don't do it. Because it'll be stuck in your brain forever and ever. And you will watch it all over the place. You ever watch that video? No, actually. Um, homework. Watch the video. Okay. You should just like play and like listen to it while you're casting and just be like, pink fluffy unicorns. Okay, that's sounding a little familiar. Yeah, it's okay. You'll get there one day. All You'll right, up to end of the game. Looks like the Kraken's taking the sloth alley route. Lots of marathons in there. He's going to get lots of food. I actually like going this uh, way because um, it allows you to find out where the hunters are coming from. A if they're going to cut you off, you can pay attention to the trapper and go back the other way. And it, um, yeah, it's a pretty good route. Yeah, and just doing this, he gets his full armor, which is exactly, you know, what we've seen previously. He builds up his armor, gets ready for a fight stage one, and then somehow he just wins stage one. Uh, his build right now is going to be a one lightning, one banshee, one aftershock, which is a very interesting build with no vortex, but he's been doing well on getting strike momentum forward. Uh, he is halfway on his evolved meter, looking to see what happens, and Crowbill Alley does actually force a 2-2 split. They are choosing to go medic assault. The medic is actually choosing to sit back a little bit further than he did previously, just due to what happened in the restarted game, where... Uh, just so you know, because it restarted, so it doesn't matter. But Medic went down almost instantaneously. However, we have a dome coming in as the Aftershock's dropping in. Goes in on Q Jr. Not going to be able to get it. However, he is alone, which means he's going to be trying to stay and keep himself alive as much as possible. As Chaos is just boost him everywhere because they don't have their Medic. So he's going to be running. Tries to go over to the Shield Drone. Lightning Strike being used. Doesn't connect, though. He just barely dodges it. Trying to see what he can get. He's going to be throwing that out. Gets the Heal Burst, but it's not quite enough. And down goes Q Jr. for the first strike of the game. Going to be going in. They didn't even break armor at this point. And he's going to be on the run at this point, trying to run and get distance. We're looking at backwards snowballs being thrown at Ghost, trying to get distance. But alas, he's being slowed down and grabbed, and he's just going to keep being sniped. Looking to actually get a reinitiation here. He's going to be stealth pouncing forward, and there it comes. Here comes the lightning. Yeah, the lightning comes a little bit off, and here comes the drop aftershock, and holy smokes, down goes Ghost, possibly. Going to see what happens. Going to see a Banshee Mine popping right into his face, but no, he just dodged it. Here he goes, right next to the healing buoy. He's getting low, but Harpoon's coming in. Strobo Slot's going to come in, charges on the body, makes sure it goes down, and he's going to be getting oh, healed up geez. by his buoy. I bet he's really happy about that. He might even try and go for a stage one down with the strikes that he's just gotten. But uh, it looks like he's trying to flail in the... Yeah, the, he was trying uh, to get rid of the bushes. buoy. Yeah. So it looks like he's gotten two people down already. He's probably just going to try and end the game here. He, uh, wow, this is, this is going really good in his favor right now. Yeah, he's just wiping the floor, doing everything he can. Here comes the aftershock going in. Does connect on no one as Zarbane's dealing a lot of damage. This is a stage one. We're currently at two minutes and 40 seconds of the game as Super Juju has now joined the team as he's super into the host. Thanks for the bud, bud. And we're going in. Here comes Zarbane. Now test on the Q Jr. Q Jr. is on the run. There's not much left for him to do. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We got full meats there. He can evolve, eat, and then evolve again if he really wanted to. It's a minute 46 left on dropship timer. Two minutes and 55 seconds into the game. This is extremely quick games coming out of Le Noir as he's just pushing forward. The French are showing their power with the Kraken as they not only had one of the best Krakens ever to reach the game, which is known as Cyril, but now they're coming in with Le Noir, who's showing to be a wrecking ball of forces as he's rolling on forward, rolling all over these teams. And I look forward to seeing him play because he's evolving right now got his meats and he'll be able to be stage two in no time and almost stage three yeah and like you said there's a lot of meats here he's going to get a lot of armor here and uh do you think he's going to go stage three or do you think he's going to go try and find the trapper he doesn't know where the trapper is that's the problem 
Like yeah, and this we, map is like we know big. where the trapper is. Trapper is at three hundred and sixty-five meters away, three hundred sixty-seven meters away. Like he's hiding in the farthest corner that he can. Like look at this. Like he's behind a waterfall. Even he's like, "Don't touch me, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Don't tease me, bro. I just want to be Maggie." Wait, well, even Maggie's got a strike, so they're gonna come in. They got strikes all over the place. Like I don't know, is it one strike each, or is there someone that has two? Uh. I think it's going to be one strike each. I think so. Those dogs coming in and ruin his little feeding time. I hate those doggies. Yeah, trap trials are kind of annoying. Ex except for Daisy. Daisy's cute and adorable. Yeah, there's the evolved Daisy's stage three. Amazing. A stage one fight. Ended in devastation for this team. Only got a bar and a half of health, and he's stage three now. What do you like? What do you think their mentality is coming out of that dropship? Oh shit! <laughs> I think that's what's coming out through their head right now. He's gonna get a lot of food, and he'll be able to fight them with full armor and only a pretty much a bar of health missing from the the kraken. As stage three, that's that's gotta be kind of. Uh, it's got to it's got to be rough. But is he lagging here? Or... What's going on? He's just kind of sitting still. I think he was oh, deciding no. what to do at this point. He was debating. Maybe he was responding to his steam message. Who knows? Maybe his captain <laughs> was like, "Holy shit, we just saw that previous fight." <laughs> well, He's gonna get more armor, he's gonna get full, he's gonna go straight for the relay, he's gonna go in and he's gonna fight. Do you... Ooh, sorry, you're on there. Take it away. But yeah, so he's gonna be going in, he has full armor, he's stage three, like perk like build wise, we got three lightning, three banshee, two aftershock, one vortex. Very high damage build as they're choosing to set up at this point. It is going to be one strike on everyone. Ghost right now is going to be looking to take a large amount of damage. And he's just firing those rockets trying to get some chip damage. The R through two bars of armor, but he'll restock before he re-engages. Zarbane is going to be doing some jetpack recharge. Ghost is doing movement speed. Q Jr. is doing movement speed. But alas, that movement speed did not help them in the previous fight. It'll be interesting to see what they do. Uh, capacity, though, on Chaos, which is a very interesting choice to go capacity. It means they're going to be very reliant on that jetpack recharge or the shields from the shield drum. Uh, either way, they are fully set up with all their deployables, ready to go. Everyone's got it. Sunny Drone's got her deployable. Emmett's got his three. Markov's got his three. And we got Q Jr. with his one deployable in the middle. See, this is a very OCD friendly. Look at the strikes. There's yep. a strike on every single person. But alas, OCD or not, you're fighting against the, one of the King Krakens right now as he's demonstrating his skill level coming forward. He's going to be looking to see what he can get. Goes in, popping all the mines with three auto attacks. Just goes in, nope, that's gone, and that's gone, and that's gone. But he's going in, tries to get Emmett. Emmett's going to be shooting at him right ahead. Here comes the Aftershock drop, though. Going to be right on top of it. He's going to be throwing out a buoy in a second, healing himself up. And there comes the boost. He's going to be healing everyone up, including Chaos, Q Jr., and his buddy Zarbane. Zarbane's going to be trying to get that damage in with the Lightning Gun. Ghost is getting hurt, though, pretty bad. He's just throwing up as many buoys as he can, trying to see what damage he's going to get. Getting boosted away, though, by Sunny. Sunny's doing a great job. Chaos is just healing everyone up, and there comes a heal burst at the last second, making sure he doesn't go down again. Ghost is looking to have a rough time. Here comes the Lightning going around the corner. It does not connect on Ghost, however. It does connect on Chaos, who's going to get healed by the healing buoy just quickly and briefly. He's going to be slowly getting perked up. There comes the heal burst. However, here comes the drop aftershock connecting on Ghost. Ghost is right now running around the building. It's for his dear life. He's just going around, 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 around. Here comes the lightning, though, going in on Zarbane. Zarbane's going to get hit by the Ghost dodges at the last second, making sure he doesn't get touched. He's going to be next to a healing buoy, making sure here he doesn't get Here comes the aftershock drop. Drop connects on three, and he's going to be eating all those. Here comes the vortex. Finally, Ghost goes down. However, the R threw all the armor down to health damage. Buoys are now gone, though, which means he have to get the pickup. Ghost is going to be on the high ground trying to get a shield drawn up. However, he gets bursted down. Cloak is used. Zarbane's trying to get the damage, and Q Jr. is keeping up the dome, trying to get more and more damage. Daisy's getting the flames, but it's not enough. Here comes the cloaks, though, going to be going in. Zarbane's going in for the pickup. Not quite able to get it. Trying to see what he can grab. Goes in for it. Who does he grab? Does he grab the medic or does he grab the uh, support? He's choosing neither. And Q Jr. is going to be left alone at this point at this rate. Two minutes left. Dropship timer has started. Down goes Zarbane. It's just down to Q Jr. who's trying to get the range damage. They're halfway through all the health, trying to see what they can get. But alas, Le Noir is coming in, swiping forces, dealing large amount of damage. The French Resistance has raised, and they are coming in with a fiery passion, melting through hunters, trying to see what they can get with a heavy hit to finish off Q Jr. That was well played by our, mon uh, our monster player.
Played that I, well. He did. Did that extremely well. The last well. one was in a good game. So. GG. Seeing the teams GG. call out the GGs right there. And we're going to move on forward to the next round. A pink fluffy unicorn takes the win, making it a 3-1 victory. Which means we'll be back in a minute with more games coming at you again. My co-caster is, of course, going to be the one, the only, Gerzilla, a.k.a. Twitch.tv slash H-E-I-D-N-U if you want to check him out. In the meantime, guys, we'll be back in a bit with more games coming at you. So stay tuned for the finals of Battlefy Week 12 Community Cop. And we'll be good to go. Stay tuned. Say bye. Or don't say bye. That's cool. Just leave me <laughs> <hanging>. Bye. <laughs>